Hey guys, so I'm playing Just Cause Free right now. Uh, it's quite a relief for me, to be honest, to be playing a game. Uh, well, I say a relief, I'm dying right now. I'll let myself die. It's quite a relief to be playing a game that's not multiplayer for once. Doing my own thing, I can die peacefully, no one's watching, and uh, I just get to destroy a lot of things, which is always what Just Cause has been about. Just Cause 2 was possibly the most therapeutic gaming experience of the last generation. You can keep your flowers in your journeys, floating around serene mystical landscapes has nothing on wreaking mass destruction upon a tropical paradise, purportedly in the name of bringing down a dictatorship. The setting has moved from a tropical Asian setting to a Mediterranean one, swapping the sun-kissed shores of Panau for the, well, similarly sun-kissed shores of Medici, the homeland of protagonist Rico Rodriguez. The archipelago is beautiful, resembling a cross between Tusky and Corsica. In truth, Medici is similar in size and style to Panau, except with more tourists and with cute Mediterranean villages replacing the more ramshackle settings of the fictional Asian island. When I played Just Cause 3 at EGX 2015, I came away feeling that Square Enix was happy to stick to the formula that worked so well for Just Cause 2, but just add more. More destruction, more explosions when you take out gas tankers, and more weaponry to help you achieve these things. But is more in this case enough? Can a game half a decade on from its predecessor rely on the same old tricks to keep gamers interested? I'm a little sceptical, but can't deny that playing a glossier version of one of the last generation's most carnally enjoyable games has a certain appeal. It's very kind of therapeutic to just go into a tropical paradise and to just destroy everything. The problem with it is, it feels really like Just Cause 2, which a lot of people will say is a good thing. I think they could have evolved it a little bit more. The gameplay still feels very kind of floaty. There are kind of problems that Rico has when it comes to climbing up walls and stuff. Um, there's no real sense that you're ever in danger. It takes a lot to kill you in Just Cause. You can, at one point, I put on a wingsuit and I flew headfirst into the ground, like 100 feet, and Rico just kind of got up and just kind of, you know, scratched his head as if he had just fallen out of a chair. But that's kind of part of the appeal of it as well. You're this kind of semi-invincible Spider-Man guy just wreaking havoc on an island. I mean, you're supposed to kind of save it from some kind of dictatorship, but I don't think anyone really cares about that. I think people just want to go into this big playground of destruction and just have a good time. Um, there are more things it could do. I think um, I'm intrigued to see how the story develops in the game. I'm not expecting too much from that. Uh, but I think for people looking to just kind of go in, destroy some stuff and just really take out the stresses of the world on something beautiful, um, we'll have a really good time with it.